hey there so we'll start with our blender tutorial and yes you can see a monkey's head on fire so by the end of the video i will be teaching you how to do this so but first let's start with the basics so first i'll just delete this everything delete or i'll start a new open a new file let me see. Okay, so when you open the software, this is what you see. This is the first page, what you see. You can see a cube here. And on the left, you can see various options like select box, cursor, move, rotate, scale, etc. So I'll explain you all this. And so the first option is select box so what it does is it just select the object like basically now it's selecting the cube so as the name suggests select it's, it's just the work of selection the next one is the cursor I'll I'll tell you later af about this cursor let's talk about the move option so you can see the lines here like the red lines green line and blue line so these these are not line these are basically axis so what it does is so what move option will do is if if you if you want to move this object along the x axis then just select this red line and it will move oh sorry this red line it will move then if you want to move it along the y axis then click on this green line it will, it will move along the y axis and similarly if you want to move it along the z axis click on this uh, blue line and it will move along the z axis so this is what move does and if you don't want to move it along the axis just click on the center this white circle and it will you can move it anywhere anywhere you want so this is what it does the next option is rotate so again if you want to rotate this object along the x-axis just click on this red line and rotate it so it will rotate along the x-axis and similarly you want to move it along y-axis it want to move along the y-axis and if you don't click on any line it's gonna just rotate like randomly like a dice so this is what rotate does the next one is scale scale option is basically it just resizes your object like again if you want to resize it along the x-axis just go to the red line y-axis and z-axis and if you click on this circle white circle it's gonna resize along all the three axes so this is what the scaling does and I'll tell you the hotkeys for this to move an object you just have to select the object press G and you can move your cursor so you can move this object anywhere by pressing G then if you want to move the ob object along the axis press G and the axis where you want to move like I want to move it along the x-axis then press X then it will move along the x-axis if you want to move along the y-axis then press G then Y it's gonna move along the Y and if you just click then it's gonna place that object wherever your cursor was then the hotkey for rotation is select the object click R so it's gonna rotate and similarly if you wanna rotate it along the axis click R and then the axis which you wanna rotate Want to rotate it along the y-axis then click y it's gonna rotate along the y so this is what rotate does scaling the hotkey for scaling is select the object press s and it's gonna scale the object and if you want to scale along the axis just press x and i want to scale along the z-axis press z so it's gonna scale along the z-axis so these are very important hotkeys it's gonna just make your work faster 
so i'll talk about the cursor so look the cursor is over here what it does is whenever you add a new object it's going to place that object where you, wherever your cursor is so for example if i add an object so i'll teach you how to add an object as well so you can see the add option over here just click add go to mesh and select any object i want to add a sphere uv sphere so you can see it has placed the sphere just where the cursor is so it's kind of overlapping the cube so i don't want that so suppose if this cursor option what it will do is you select the cursor option and click anywhere where you, wherever you want your cursor to be so i want it here and now if i add an object uh you is here it's going to place it over here so this is what cursor does and the hotkey for cursor is shift right key uh, right click so shift right click so this is going to this is the hotkey and if you want to add objects then the hotkey for adding object is shift a so it's going to open this dialog box and here you can add any of the objects like this so these were the basics now we'll move to the interesting part as i promised we will set the monkey set on fire so let's first delete all these objects delete select and press delete to delete it and now you want to add a monkey so what we going to do is shift a for adding go to mesh here you can see monkey so we just click on monkey so now you can see a monkey here you can see the monkey now the next step is press f3 and search for quick smoke select quick smoke now select the monkey and and go to this physical properties this one so you can see flow type over here you just change it to fire plus smoke so this is how it will do now select the smoke domain this box is called the smoke domain is selected and here you can see bake data so just click on bake data you can see the progress bar over here it's going to take some time so i'll pause the video and i'll show you the final output so as you can see it's almost done now so after baking it just change this end number to 50 and then click on play button so yeah there you go the monkey said is on fire it was pretty simple so we are further coming up with more blender tutorials i hope you like it thank you